Right, uh, welcome back. It's uh, time for my favorite part, the interactive segment, and Marin Turi is here with what's training and everything. <laughs> you look good, though. Thank you. You look good. I said thank you. Yeah, oh, you look good. Oh, thank you, Steve. Yeah. Thank you. You, know, you know, I, I think that you've, you've gained some of your weight back. I have, indeed. Yeah, it's you, been you, a conscious effort to put on Really? Away. Yes. And your cheeks are glowing. Oh, thank you. Mm. Are you thank blushing? And, and everybody is taking good are care of blushing? me. Are you blushing? I am artificially I'm, blushing. I'm, I'm thinking about getting a silver beard. It will help me a lot in my progress. No, gold platinum. You. Gold platinum. Gold platinum. So what's up? <laughs> so many things are trending. But today we are focusing on the back foot of today's big story. Mugabe sad session. Exactly, exactly. You, you see, I used to like Mugabe a lot until today, <laughs> basically. Why? Because he said things like, I'll say them, fearlessly says yeah. what he has to say, especially to Europe and the rest of the world, to yeah. say, look, Africa, we can manage our but own affairs. But he has his own with problem this. in his backyard. But he has his own problems in his backyard, like we all do. Mm. Uh, but his accession that we haven't developed much, I don't think I agree with well, him so much let's because hear what people the have 60s to say is different us. from from now at, at least century we're about Ghana. 30 million now exactly. so compared to when we were 10 million there's no comparison we could do better though now. yes okay so let's hear you so President Mugabe of Zimbabwe has been trending over the weekend and continues to trend today if you didn't know this President Mugabe received part of his education here in Ghana and also married a Ghanaian woman. He took a swipe at his in-laws saying Ghana is poor at the 60s when he met his wife's side. Mm, 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 mm. Many people have expressed their disagreement with Mugabe. Already, President Kufu has debunked his statement and today on JN Interactive, we look at the democratic Ghana and issues of social and economic development. My name as always is Marian Ture and this it's GN Interactive. You don't want to miss a bit of it. So stay tuned. <laughs> yes, welcome. And GN Interactive is proudly supported by Cephline. Cephline, it's about time. You really will want to join the discussion. Let me announce all the social media tools that you need to get in touch with the show. We are on Facebook. Do you find us? Facebook.com slash join us on TV. Like the page first, though. Then you can comment on all the posts we put there. I'll amplify your voice and share what you are sharing with the rest of the world. We are on Twitter. We tweet at Joy News on TV and at JN Interactive GH. You can send us your emails to join us. I am at multitvworld.com. And our WhatsApp number, I am sure you know it by heart, but it is 0540109009. I am on Twitter and Instagram at MN Toure and Facebook.com slash Marian Toure Official. So, yes, we're doing Mugabe today. President Mugabe is always noted for his sharp tongue. He sees uh, imperialism and neocolonialism in virtually everything. And I mean everything. If you could see it in his water, I'm sure that he would look through the glass and even see it in that. He recently uh, changed the name of Victoria Falls to Mosi Utania, saying he does not understand why the largest falls should be named after Queen Victoria. And I'm sure you're thinking that is very controversial, but Mosi Otanya means that the smoke that actually thunders. So to the statement that put him on our trending list for today, President Mugabe stated, I have been to Ghana 1958 to 1960. And when you look at them now and compare their present situation to what existed in the 60s, no change. What do you make of his comments though? Do you really? agree with him. I quickly would want us to go through his statement, uh, you know, piece by piece so that we can pick the salient points here. So I'll try and project it and then we'll all see it. It's trending all over on social media and it's in the, on uh, the Zimbabwean press. Okay. And here it's saying that President Mugabe attacked Ghana still as poor as the day I met Sally in the 60s. And uh, a lot of people have shared the story. So 189 people over the weekend since December 4th Till now, and um, it is in I Harari that I'm taking this from. So if you have your you know, gadgets with you, you can also join me there. And he says, some of the quotes I'm trying to read, he says, I have been to Ghana, and I read that to you already. And the part two says, there might be more people, yes. Uh, there may be one road from the airport, which has been well done, so the people who visit the country 
think everything is okay. Really? Oh, but come on. I, I think we've done more than that. It's not just that one road. And then he says, that's about all. No change. There are still areas which are <laughs> where children do not go to school. Big countries, and you wonder why? It's because they have remained under the control of countries like France, European countries like that, he added. I don't think... Uh, we're trying our best, Mr. Mugabe, if you can hear me. I'm hoping that you're looking, you're watching AJN Interactive, you know, on our streaming website, myjohnline.com. Please, if you're in Zimbabwe, call the president and tell him to please listen. Because um, I am hoping that we have, you know, my resource person on the line. Because Mugabe's statement, it, it really rekindles the debate of democracy and social economic development. Should democracy... And after elections, okay? Is democracy even at all about elections? And we went out there to speak to get some Ghanaians about the issue. First, we asked them the impression about this whole Mugabe issue, the fuss, whether they actually think what he's saying is right. If, if we have the video blog, we'll play it uh, now. And then when we come back, I'll be joined on the line by retired ambassador DKB Asante, who would actually help us to understand what is going on. So we'll take our first video blog. I don't agree with him. I think what he said is rubbish. Because some, how many years ago, about 1958 to this time, it's about 56 years. And the population has grown. And as compared to our democracy to his democracy, it means we are making strides. He's a dictator, so you don't see what is going on around him. So I think what he said is rubbish, if I may put it that way. Ghana is far better than Zimbabwe. Because we are free, we speak it's free speech, we speak what we on our mind, we enjoy everything, competitive, everything is enjoyable in Ghana than I think in Zimbabwe. From the time I was born till now, I would say there have been some slight improvements in terms of infrastructure and um, education wise and yeah. But looking at, um, so I agree with him partially. We are all in this country where we've heard um, about um, this charge boss and um, this Wyoming case and stuff like that. This um, GFA stuff, it's all about loot and share. So I think the best thing is for the leadership to be more focused on developing the nation. Then we can shame Mugabe on what he said. There has been a massive development in our country, Ghana. Right from um, President Kufuor, we have seen a number of development that has taken place. Uh, from Atamils, we have seen a massive development. So I don't agree with what he is saying. I learned that uh, even in their currency, we are running over, I think, I don't have much details about it, but I know that they have one currency over one million or something like that, uh, which I think can never in any way be compared to Ghana, even though uh, a few inflation here and there. But I think we are in a better position than that country. <laughs> we knew uh, uh, Zimbabwe. When the, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, the, the whites are mingled with them, or the whites are rule, or whatever. I mean, after, immediately after the white rule, they were progressing, they were doing well. But it got to a point, as I'm talking now, this, from what I'm reading and what I'm hearing, I can say, Ghana, we are okay. We are doing better than, I would say, Zimbabwe. Somehow, I was great. And uh, the other way around, too. you know, Africa, the way we do our own thing. We are not Europeans. We are a black man. And you yourself, you know, you and I know our mentality and everything. If Mugabe says that uh, for so many years now he has come to Ghana and there is no development, well, I don't know how he developed Zimbabwe. But Ghana here, at least, my age and everything, I think we are moving forward. Yes, so one way or the other, I disagree with him, but we need, we have more to do. Uh, African leaders need more to do. That, that's what like, I, I have to say. Welcome back, and those are the views from the streets. So let's take the views 
on social media, especially on Facebook. The precursor has already been said to what Mugabe said uh, was that I've been to Ghana 1958 to 1960. And when you look at them now and compare their present situation to that, what existed in the 1960s, there has been no change. Do you agree with his statement? And uh, amazingly, within the near last 10 minutes, over 150 comments have dropped in already. It does show that you are indeed getting interactive, and thank you for that. Today, I begin with Stan. He says, exactly, nothing changes. We still uh, leave behind. You mean we are left behind. Uh, Abeku says, 100% true. Really? Abeku? Okay. Reach up here, and I'll say, uh, why do you people hate the truth? <laughs> this is a challenge for the government to sit. Oh my God! And then you have a hashtag tag uh, Team Mugabe, so you support Mugabe, okay? Cole says uh, he saw Ghana and he has seen it again based on his personal observation. How many of us saw that time? He is right, really? Okay. Blink says, "How's the state of Mugabe's country now?" Selfish leader like him, Emmanuel Kobna, he can only see change when he changes himself. Mubarak says, hmm, I'll take one more. We'll go to Lord Kote's corner. Mahatma says, well, no change is subject to definition. To him, it may mean there, has been, um, there hasn't been any industrial change that could transform the nation Ghana to the next level. We may have temporal changes that could stand the test of time. He may mean permanent change, not window dressing. And I like that one. Let's go to Lord Kote's corner. And find out what's trending on Twitter. Welcome. Now, today on What's Trending, we are looking at the first gentleman of Zimbabwe. Hope you enjoyed your weekend, by the way. Now, President Mugabe says Ghana is broke. I don't want to quote him, but he says that Ghana is as broke as when he first met his wife, Sally, in the 1960s. <laughs> Funny, huh? Well, let's go to Twitter and see how far taking the whole issue. Now, there's a tweet from City FM. It says here, Kofo disagrees with Mugabe. Ghana has made progress. And another from Matthias Sogard. It says, Mugabe louds Ghana for being as poor as it was in the 1960s. Hashtag, what is wrong with Mugabe? And this is from Kofi233. Mugabe taking a swipe at Ghana? Zimbabwe must be nice. Buying tea bread with a truckload of money must be some kind of development? <laughs> right, and this is from Education Ghana. 90-year-old Mugabe mocks 57-year-old Ghana. And the quote is, they are as poor as ever. And this is from BiggestGH.com. Kufua replies Mugabe, Ghana has improved fantastically. Right. Hmm, so some interesting comments there. Now, those are some of your tweets. What do you think? Are you siding with President Mugabe? Or are you saying what former President Kufo says holds? Marin, over to you. This has been watched training. My name is Lord Kote. And happy birthday, former President Kufo. Yeah, that was Lord Kote swagging it all up and happy birthday to President Kofu and all that. Well, happy birthday from us too to President Kofu. Steve is back. We are wrapping up the show together. You know, that was sarcastic. <laughs> happy birthday, Kofu, and so on. Just against the fact that Mugabe made that comment. And right? Kofu also rebutted but with a tweet. I strongly disagree with Mugabe. I was not born in 1960, mm. but I think we've made tremendous strides. We have made tremendous I mean, the, strides. The statistics are there to show. Mm. We've moved forward. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. I wish I, wish no, I could have I'm seen I'm not saying, however, that we tried to reach government sources to make a comment, but they just ignored. They just said that, well, this is an unnecessary distraction. So for those of you who were watching and watching thinking it. that we didn't try to speak to anybody in government, no, we did. They are so not interested. They don't want to give credence and to And I agree. To them, I agree. So, yeah. If I was Minister of Communication, <laughs> I wouldn't talk about <laughs> this one. All right. So my name is Stephen Enti. Uh, and my name is Marianne Jure. Thanks for hanging out. Yes. Enjoy the rest of our programs. Good, Good evening. Join News Interactive was brought to you in association with Surfline. It's about time.